All right, let's head in to Gladys's room. Here, follow me. I'll take you into Gladys's room. Wait, Tom, I've got something I want to show you. Ooh, what? Here in the foyer. We're, we're back in 1957 anyways, right? Just had purchased mm -hmm. the Lions. We've just bought Graceland. All right. And do you know what was on this wall when Elvis moved in? And it was on here for several years before the wallpaper came about. No. No. It's a beautiful mural, and there's a photograph that we have of Elvis with the March of Dimes girl here at Graceland, mm -hmm. and he's playing with her here in the hallway, and you can see on this wall this beautiful mural that is still behind this wallpaper. Wow. When was the wallpaper put up? The wallpaper was put up in the 60s. Okay. And then the mirrors came in the 70s, and the de decor just kind of developed from there. Right. There is still another mural here at Graceland that is in perfect condition and properly preserved. Unfortunately, we can't go see it because it's upstairs. Oh. Well, it's just right up that way. We <laughs> no, just, no, no, no. We're okay. going to Gladys's room. That's right. <laughs> All right. We'll go to Gladys's room. Come, Come on. on in. Into, ooh, very, very soft carpet. And, and look what I have. Sorry. You know what that means? I, oh, yes. This means good things. Everybody. It means that we're going to touch things. That's right. So like you said, when you first came here to Graceland in the 80s, mm -hmm. this room was used by Elvis's aunt. That's right. And she had a little dog. Because we would see her out walking her dog when we would come through the tours. Yes. And mm -hmm. so she used this room. It wasn't until her passing in 93 that we actually cataloged everything in the room and set it up that the way it was kind of when Gladys was here and um, opened it up for tours. Mm -hmm. And some of the unique things that we kept here in the room or some of the things I'm going to show you actually didn't belong to Gladys, but belonged to another person who used this room. Mm -hmm. And that was Elvis's grandmother, Minnie May. Right. Dodger. Yes. Yes. So some of the things that I wanted to show you were here on the dresser, which you really can't see from the yeah. door, is we actually have a pair of Minnie's glasses. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Kind of rose colored or lilac. Mm -hmm. Kind of matches the decor in the room. Look at that. Those are some 1950s glasses. <laughs> if you've ever they? seen one, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then something else, I'll hold this piece, which is kind of very fragile, but still very dated. Mm hmm the hats. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. So. This room, when you're inside this room, it's a lot bigger than it feels like when you're standing, when at, you're the standing door, at the doorway. When you're standing at the doorway. I'm just going to put that there. The other really, and I mean, there's nothing really unique in here, but Ooh, yeah. it's what you would find in your grandmother's house. You would find exactly. some very beautiful glass container that's just full of little knickknacks like lipstick. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's like travel size. Yeah, a travel size lipstick. And wow. in case you ever need a button, every got... button you could possibly imagine mm -hmm. is it here. Is. My grandmother has this exact bowl with buttons and hair clips and safety, safety pins, pins safety you know, pins. All of your emergency needs yes. are all right here in this drawer, <laughs> in this little container. And Minnie wasn't any different, so yeah, this yeah. was her little container of emergency needs to take care of whatever anybody needed. And the little spritzer. Uh-huh, for little, perfume. The little perfume The little perfume spritzer. That has a fancy name, I don't know what, the, atomizer. Ooh, I just, education, see what it does for you? <laughs> yes. Oh, ooh, look at that. And then, we also have this beautiful. What, I have no idea what that. Powder. <gasps> powder, oh it's yeah. It's actually makeup. And that's still... It's still here. There's still makeup There's in there. still makeup in here. Wow. Mm. Just but such... a good southern lady hides her essentials. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and then we have a picture of Elvis, H5. So this was taken in your hometown. In Tupelo. In that's Tupelo. That's a Tupelo picture. And he, look how blonde he is in that, yes. in that picture. But look at that little smile. Yep. That Presley it's, look. It's there. It's there. It's there. Th this room also, when, when fans come through... As I'm in here, I realize, you know, you couldn't, fans couldn't come in here because it's a bottleneck. They, they'd have nowhere to turn around. Yeah, there is. There's no, there's all, there's one way in and one way out. Yeah. Nowhere to turn around. I mean, but it is a very quaint room, you mm -hmm. know, and you hear stories of when Elvis brought the horse into the house and mm -hmm. he did his little business in the hallway, you know, that happened right outside this door. Yeah. And, you know, Lisa talks about coming to see Grandma. Priscilla tells stories about, you know, well, Grandma Minnie was always in her room and we always came 
came to visit her and mm -hmm. she had a little TV in here and this was this was her home. This is where she lived. Mm -hmm. And you could just picture the lady of the house staying in this room and you know, Elvis coming down the stairs yelling, Dodger, are you okay? You know, mm -hmm. you wanna cook something and <laughs> Yeah. And it's really a well-lit room, too. You have two nice outside mm -hmm. windows, so mm -hmm. it's very quiet and kind of isolated, really. And something else that um, happened not so long ago in this room was when Lisa was recording her last album, mm -hmm. Storm and Grace, she actually did a photo shoot here at Graceland, and some of the photos that were used for that album and for promotion were actually taken right here in this room. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it stays in the family. It does. See, I love that. And there's looks like a portrait of Elvis on the wall over there too. You can't really yep. see that from the uh, from outside. That's a Memphis portrait too, I think. It, it is a Memphis portrait on that wall, one of his very first publicity shots. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of things here that you you know, wouldn't know. Um, when we opened up the room for tours back in 1993, the headboard actually had been reupholstered a couple of times. But when we were redoing the room, we actually went back to the original upholstery that was still under two layers of different upholstery during different decorations. So this is This is back the original, to the yeah. To Gladys. To Gladys's day, yes. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, it's gorgeous. Thank you so much for bringing us in. And again, I can't get over how soft the, the carpet how is. How soft the carpets are. <laughs> Graceland has the best carpets. <laughs> of course, white, which is not a good choice sometimes, but But uh, they are the best. Yeah. Where to now? I'm excited about what's next if if we're in Gladys's room. You know room, what? Know we're going to go back to the kitchen. I found some more things that I know I forgot to show you last time. Besides the magic oven that pulls Besides out? Besides the magic oven, there's more magical things in the kitchen. All right, join us in the kitchen. Bring your gloves. <laughs>